Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn a new feature in Microsoft Excel that is picture in cell. Apart from that, you will learn how we can use the lookup with the image and how we can use a picture or image in pivot table. I will also explain you how you can use the image function and how you can create the hyperlink using such images so that if you click it will take you to that particular page all right first we will discuss about the picture in cell picture in cell is a new feature in office 365 and it is in preview at this time now let me show you how you can insert a picture inside the cell Usually when we insert a picture from the insert then picture and we insert the picture over the cell. Now we have the new feature which is place in cell. So you can place the picture in the cell and you can take the picture from this device stock images or online pictures. Alright now I'll show you. So let's copy this table to the new worksheet and let's paste this here as value. Even I have pasted as value, you can see that images are available. Let me delete these images and I'll show you how you can add the picture for each employee. You can take the images from your local drive or you can take from online also. Let me show you. So let's select this range and I want to insert the images for this range. I can go to the insert and I can go to the picture and let's say I want to take from this device. And here you can select let's say pictures and I want to go to the screenshot and I want to insert these screenshots so those screenshots are available okay but this is not the actual picture of the employee I'll, this is just the example if I will change the height of the row accordingly image size will be changed all right here you can see now let's delete this and let me insert few other images from the stock images so go to the picture and place in cell and here we can go to the stock images you can take the images from here or let's go to the cutout people and i'm taking the images from here for few let's click on insert so we have selected 10 images and it is downloading the images so here you can see it is inserting the images and the size of the image is according to the cell size so all images are inserted successfully now you can change the size to see it properly and uh, you can align this okay we have aligned it center now let's come back to this sheet similarly we have inserted the image here now once you have inserted the image you can use this particular field in your formula for example here we have the department like finance sales and mis and i want to filter the employee for the sales department or for the mis department i can simply type here mis and i can see the employee only for mis department and i can see the image here also i have used here filter function let me show you use here filter function use filter array we will select this range comma in the include we will use department range which is column d equal to we will select this cell this one j1 just close the bracket and hit the enter so automatically it is taking the data from here including this image okay if i will type here sales department then here you can see it is taking the information for sales department automatically I will show you how you can use the lookup by the image, the lookup, x lookup. Now let me go to the next sheet. Here we have the photo of the employee. We want to get the employee name, department and salary. To get the employee name, here you can see the employee name is the first field. Then we have the photo. So we have to use the x lookup here. We can use the x lookup. Lookup value we will take this d4 which is the image, comma lookup array we will come to the picture in cell c and we will select the column this one wherein we have the images press f4 to freeze this comma the return array we will take the name this one press f4 to freeze this close the bracket and hit the enter 
so by the picture we will get the name of the employee okay so if you have the picture you can get the name of the employee from the employee table now here we can get the department and salary also we can use the VLOOKUP also by the employee name or by the picture so let's use by the picture this is the picture comma let's come to the table array here we will select these three column select this range press F4 first we will take 2 comma 0 and just close the bracket so we will get the department by the picture now copy this formula and paste here this time we will take comma 3 here we will get the cell leave and that is also coming by the picture if I will delete this picture everything will be has any all right let's fill this down now let's say we want to get one image from here this one if I will copy and I will paste here because this is from the function so nothing will be available but we can use the paste special value also so let's use here alt e s and select value and ok so when you will use the paste special value it will return the same image now if i will fill this down then here you can see we are getting the name of this employees and department and the same all right so that is how we can use the lookup by picture now I'll show you how you can use the image function and the hyperlink also with the image inside the cell. Let's come to this page. This is the Amazon customer feedback data. And here we have product name, discounted price, actual price, discount percentage, rating, and then the rating count. And we have the product image. To get the product image, we are using the image function. And to get the link, we are using the hyperlink and image function. I'll show you from the starting. So let's delete these two and we have two hidden columns here let me show you those hidden columns also one is the image link here you can see that is complete image link online link and this is the product link basically the baby url for that particular product the amazon site all right so i will use the image function to get the product image so we can use here simple image and we can select this image link close the bracket and hit the enter we will get the image of that product automatically we can fill this down and we can see that is available till the end if you want to expand any image and see the more detail you can simply press shift control and f5 you can see the big image here similarly here shift control f5 and this is not only for this image function you can use here also we have inserted the picture in the cell we can use shift control and f5 to see the big picture of that particular employee all right now let's come here and see how we can add the product link we can use the hyperlink function here equal to hyperlink and location we will take this product link and friendly name we can put let's say by now just close the bracket we can fill this down here we can see one hyperlink for the buy now if i click here then you can see it is taking me to this amazon.in website for that particular product all right but if you want to show some stylish button here rather than simple why now text then you can open that image online so let's go to the pixabay.com or any other from where you can get the free images and let's search for the why now button so we are getting few images here like i have taken this one let's click on this image and simply right click here don't download this one just right click here and copy image address now go to the excel and here in place of this by now we can use image function use the image function and inside the image function let's paste that url which you have copied from there all right and let's close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting this button and we can fill this down now if i will click here it again it will op open the same page but it is looking more beautiful rather than putting the simple text so that is how you can put 
any image and you can generate the dynamic hyperlink also. Now if you want to adjust this image, let's say it is looking as a button, it is looking a little bit big image. So we can adjust this also. So inside the image function, we can see the other syntax. That first one is the alt text. So we can put here why now and this text will appear whenever this image is not available. Now sizing, we can take the custom size. So let's take the custom size and height and width of that size we can take let's say here 50 and width we can take 100 and just hit the enter. So this is the size you can adjust this once again let's say take the size as 70 and 120 so it will be little bit bigger now you can adjust the size according to your requirement and fill this down. Alright friends so that is how you can use the image function to show the image and you can use the hyperlink also and create the hyperlink over the image. Now let's see how we can show the country flags. So let's say here we have the country list and we want to create the flag of that country. Let us put few countries name here like India, USA, UK, China. Okay. As you are typing automatically it is showing convert to geography. You can convert this list to the geography or you can select this range you can go to the data and here data type you can select geography and you can click on ok. As you click automatically this list will be converted to the geography. Alright. To see the flag what you can do you can just click here and here you can see the image. Automatically it will create the flag of that country. Or you can type here, let's say this range dot image to get that. This is the same thing here also it is showing the formula. And to get the GDP or any other information, you can use the same thing. From here, you can get all the things like GDP. So it is showing the GDP also. All right. Now how we can use these images inside the pivot table? What will happen if I will create the pivot table of this data? After creating the pivot table, your image will look like this. Let me show you or let's create the pivot table using this data. Create a pivot table, select this range, go to the insert and insert a pivot table on the new worksheet. So this is the pivot table. Now here in place of product name, we can show the product image. So we have product image and let's put it in the row so we can see the product image here and we can show the price of the product so let's show the discounted price all right so we can use that image here or even we can use the image in the columns also so let's take the product image in the column so here you can see it is showing in the column and we can show the product name let's say here And then we can see the images here also on the top. All right, and you can use it inside the filter also if you want. So let me show you quickly. Product image, I can put it in the filter, and let's say here I'm putting the product name and I'm putting the rating in the value, and I'm taking the average rating. All right. Now I can select here any picture but that picture is not appearing properly in the filter so sometime it will be difficult to select that but once you will select that will appear in this cell alright. So friends that is how you can use the image inside the pivot table or inside hyperlink function and inside the excel cell. Using these tricks, you can create the beautiful business dashboard without using the BBA. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.